So in this video, I want to talk about one more modifier that frequently gets used in low poly modeling. And it gets often used in combination with the displace modifier, which the previous video talked about. And this modifier is the decimate modifier. Now you'll notice here, I've got my terrain with my displace modifier and I've got some variety to it, but the faces themselves are all square. Now, some people like that, but in my opinion, regular squares don't work great for organic shapes, things like terrains and shrubbery or leaves. So we're gonna add a second modifier to this plane. I'm gonna come up to modifiers and I'm gonna look for the decimate modifier just here in the generate list. Now, when I do that, nothing happens. And that's because my ratio here is set to one. So what the decimate modifier is going to do is it is going to literally decimate the model. It's going to remove vertices from the model. And it's gonna do that in a way that doesn't leave holes in your object. And it's gonna do that in a way that's gonna break up the regular grid shape or the regular squares of our model. So if I take the slider and I slide it down, you can see that vertices just slowly disappear. And we start to get something that's a whole lot more interesting. That small variation, that small irregularity in the faces is more interesting to look at and frankly looks a whole lot better and more natural. Now, if you slide this all the way down, you're gonna get a line. It decimates it down to the minimum two vertices and you can work your way back up. This is also a great way you can see that we can just change, effectively change the size of our faces. Now, there are some peculiarities with this. You can get some really irregular shapes um, that you might have to go in and fix afterwards, but it's a pretty great way to modify your landscape, to modify organic shapes like leaves and shrubbery. Even rocks, this works really well to create um, irregular faces on your rocks.